Okay, so welcome back here. Uh, we've let this dry out here. And as you can see, this is a much more le level sur surface than it was a, uh, a few coats ago. So, and just to show you, I have a large, this is like a 20 inch tr tr trawl right here. And I'm gonna put it up to the joint here. And you can see how there, you can't see light either on the, on the top or like the bottom of it. So that means that we effectively filled the void to the left and to the right of the hump. So that's what you wanna do. So as you can see, the trowel, it doesn't rock back and forth. And the reason is because we added a bunch of mud here and a bunch of mud here. So that took care of that hump there. So now what we have is, is even after you like you skim coat, like you're still gonna have. I I took a pencil and I circled like there's a nick right there. Um, there's two nicks down here, and there's some ball and there's some baubles here. Of course, there's that draw line here that will just shave that away, and down here we have another gouge because there's probably a chunk in the mud. And then there's a gouge here, there, and there's a draw line here. This was that area where it left the... Now you can always like sand that away, but I'm gonna show you something that's easier. And right here, there's just like a little bit of an, of an overlap there. Okay, so, um, one, once again, I'm just gonna use the my four inch blade to shave away any lines right here. And I'll come down to uh, this one here. And I'm just gonna... Okay, that takes care of that. And there's some bubbles here. Okay, so that is my sanding so, so far. Now I have some fast setting mud. So before we sand the whole thing down, you're always gonna go around and fix it and fix any of those air of those areas. Um, I'm gonna skim down this one here. Now my by skimming over it, that means that you don't have to sand so hard when 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 when, when you finally do sand. Um, so, and it's just it's e it's not easier if, if I do it this way rather than trying to sand sand down through all 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 those areas there. So this is that spot where it had the slight impression there i'll just put some mud there and then wipe it like that and that and as you can see that filled that in there the line right there that we're going to take care of uh, down here where there was a chunk in the mud gonna come up and that takes care of that there's a line right here And you want to skim as hard as possible so you don't leave any lines. And you're always going to have to touch up around the outlets too. So it's an area that's hard to get to with the trowel. And um, so there's something here. 
And lastly, there's a draw line here that I can easily sand away, but sometimes it's easier to say skim over it. Okay, so, uh, and there's some little holes over here. Okay, so this is your final skim. So go around with like a pencil and just draw a circle around any of the imperfections and then just go around like, like I did and skim out those because you really want this to uh, look perfect before we start to sand and prime. So uh, we're going to let this dry out and then uh, we'll uh, be back to uh, sand and prime the wall. Okay, so we've given the, uh, the mud some time to dry out where I just fixed all the imperfections and now it's time to sand here. Now, I normally would use my drywall sand, sand, sander, but I know that a lot of people don't have one, one of those, so I'm going to show you how to sand just using like a, like a sanding block. Now again, the wall isn't a, a complete mess. It's basically smooth, so you can use it as a sanding block. The wall's a mess and you're gonna have to really sand down with like a, with, with like a sanding screen and a sanding pole, and then you're probably gonna have to re, re skim coat. But the way that the walls are now, we can just get away with just using this, um, this s s sanding sponge, and it's made by 3M, and the grit is fine. So what we're gonna first do is we're gonna focus on the edges here, and these are real, these are real important. So I'm gonna put my mask on. And you want to take away that slight edge there. Okay, so now when the camera calm, calms up here, you, you can see the transition now is smooth, the transition from the joint compound to the existing wall. Whereas, we come down here to an area that I didn't sand yet. You can see how there's like a, a slight hard edge here. It's not that thick, but if you if you don't sand it and if you just paint right over it, then you're still gonna see that edge there. Okay. And I'm just gonna go lightly sand over the imperfections that I just did there. It helps to use a pencil because then you can actually see where to sand. Okay, and just do like a light sand on all the areas that don't have pencil marks. So come up here, see the top. And then once again, I'm going to sand down this edge here. to go around just see I'm like the whole thing down now and then once you're done it's very important to get rid of the dust by using like a broom because there is dust now that's on the surface that was created from like the sanding so you want to just make sure just to dust this area off here okay and you can see the dust that's coming off just from the minimal sand sanding that I just did there because you definitely want your primer to be able to to stick to the, to the joint compound and the primer is not going to stick to a dusty surface. So I'm going to continue to, to uh, sand this down and I'm going to vacuum the area up and then we'll be back to apply a, a primer coat. 